Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And in this video, we're talking about the difference between taking a knife, squeezing it, and t you know, telling how good the ergos is versus actually in practice and actually cutting with it and using it. Now, this is the Medford Slim Midi. And, you know, I did get a few comments of people saying, man, mine's, my lock bar is way more stronger than yours. And, you know, it's way more tighter. That's because the new Slim Midis are on bearings. This one's on bearings and that's why. So you might have one that was on Foster Bronze washers. And I will say, I am heavily impressed with it on bearings. I would not want it any other way. I am so happy with this knife. Now, let's get into this. So, you, everybody's seen that. And I, you know, I'm guilty of it too. So I, I'm not, you know, knocking anybody. Where they get a knife in hand and they're reviewing it, a knife reviewer, and, and maybe you do it at home too and you squeeze it and you're like, man, that has good or bad ergos. You know, you squeeze it and you're like, oh man, there's a ton of hot spots. Oh man, it has, oh, look at my hand. You know, there's marks on it. And, or you squeeze it and you're like, whoo, that is comfortable, right? But let me tell you why that doesn't work. So it can work if, I guess if you understand this, but the process and actually using the knife, your grip isn't the way you're going to just grab the knife and squeeze. And I could pull out so many knives and show this. I don't know if I'll get through all these, you know, to actually show like the differences between them. But so many knives, you know, I've grabbed and, you know, like just grabbed it, squeezed it and said, man, there's a little hot spot like on this one. It's right there. There's a hot spot when I when I squeeze it. But then when I actually start cutting with it, it's not that way because the position of my hand when actually cutting is different than me squeezing it. It's the pressure in areas is going to be different because we use, and this is, I guess, if you use your knife correctly, but we, you're supposed to use the knife or the, sorry, the blade to cut. So you want to get the teeth of the edge to do the cutting for you. So you might drag through a cut or possibly put pressure, you know, towards the front of the knife rather than just squeezing, which might relate in you going from this to like this type of grip, or maybe going from this type of grip to actually like this type of grip or this type of grip. And it changes depending on the knife and the blade. You know, the blade has got a lot to do with it. That's why I kind of always advocate for and, you know, not all knives because I like knives with, you know, different types of ergos. But what I mean is that with neutral ergos, it tends to be a little bit more beneficial with a lot of cutting tasks. Now, like this knife right here, right? When I put it in my hand and I squeeze it, it's like holding a, a bag of nails. Like, it's so bad in my hand. But in performance, I find that I don't, I don't use it like this. I tend to use it like this, like this. Or like this, where I'm not even the clip, because this is where the hot spot comes from, is this clip right here, this corner, just, man, it really kills my hand. But I tend to wrap my hand actually around the clip to the point to where it doesn't sit in this position. It actually sits in this little bag, this little palm bag, the little bag of my hand, this little gap in my hand. So it, it doesn't hurt me as bad as me just gripping it and holding it. Now, there are times where when I'm cutting with it, it is very uncomfortable, but not as much as me squeezing it. Now, other knives, like this one, this, oh, sorry, this is the, the Spyderco Techno 2. This is the Spyderco Slish Buoy. When I just grab it and I just squeeze it, right? And I'm just squeezing it and I'm like testing it for ergos. Oh man. In all reality, this thing is horrifying. It's horrifying to just squeeze it. This corner right here just digs right into my hand. When I'm like this, now I got the clip. I got this part over here digging in. I mean, it's just, there's spots everywhere. But in practice, this thing is super comfortable. Now it's super comfortable because I tend to 
put the pressure actually up here more, not down here where all the hot spots are. I tend to grip it right here. My finger kind of goes in that little spot right there. And I tend, let me grab a piece of cardboard. I tend to grip it right here and then let the blade, so the pressure now is in my thumb and I let it drag. So now I'm kind of gripping here more so it doesn't pull out of my hand and I'm putting pressure with my thumb this way, which makes it to where I don't have any of those hot spots. Now with other cuts like the push cut, I scoot up. So I don't have those other issues. Now for like this type of cut, now I'm wrapped around it. So now it's completely different. Like, so do you, if you can understand or follow me, what I'm trying to say is that the positions that you use it are relative to the blade, not necessarily the, just the grip. I mean, obviously grip is going to have a lot to do with it. That's why I always scream about leverage and stuff like that. When I do cuts, the primary two spots for slicing is gonna be in this thumb and the pinky, just those two areas, thumb, pinky. Now, if I grab a piece of cardboard right now, I can literally do this slicing cut with just my thumb and my pinky. That's the only two places I'm getting pressure, thumb and pinky. Now, obviously you're gonna get more control, like once you finish the cut, you know, from going too much forward with, you know, your other fingers, but with the actual cutting and where the pressure is gonna be, it's just the pinky and the thumb for that specific type of cut. And you're using the blade to, to roll through the cut. Rather, and then even with just a push, same thing, just those two spots. And when you're actually up here doing push cuts, that's why I like a straight back design because it lays across my palm and my palm gets to do all the pressure. I'm not getting the pressure in my fingers. I'm getting it right in my palm going forward, you know, because it's laying across my palm as I'm putting pressure. But when you put a cut, when you're doing a slicing cut, the knife's going like this. So you have the thumb to stop from going up and then the pinky to stop the, you know, the heel of the, the handle or whatever from tilting down. So you're holding, you're locking it in like that. That's what's mostly doing that pressure. Now, obviously your palm is gonna go into it a little bit, but it's gonna be more around here. Not necessarily right here on the side, gripping it, just squeezing it. You know, it's gonna be a different grip than what's just gonna be a conventional squeeze that you could possibly feel a ton of hot spots from, but then in practice, when you're actually using it and cutting with it, you're not gonna get that. This one, same, kind, same concept, it's very thin, and when I squeeze it, it's hot right here. This is sharp in the inside and it's not chamfered. So when I squeeze it, my finger, look at that line right there. I mean, it, it hurts, but in practice, I don't put my fingers there and squeeze it. I actually make it kind of grip around and it secures it into my palm. It's more of a, a pushing right here and it just works great for me. And you know, and then my other grips are like this, where I kind of pinch around here and I kind of tug it into my hand and I put this pressure right here into my palm and I go like that and it's kind of more like, you know, it's just, it's completely different than if I squeezed it. The Tala. The Tala is, uh, you know, it's very comfortable in hand you know, I don't have really no issues with it at all, but I do feel this clip, you know, kind of digging in. But I found when I actually cut with it, I kind of rotate it a little bit. It's kind of weird. I just, I noticed it when I was really cutting with it, like instead of holding it just like this, I kind of go like that with it, which is, it's, it's weird, like just to think about, but in cutting, that's what winds up happening. The, um, this is the CJRB Tala, the TRM um, Atom. Now this is the Medford Slim Midi. Now this one, if I just squeeze it, it's very thin and right here is kind of sharp because it's a thin piece of metal and you know, it just feels very thin and metally. The corners are pretty sharp, but in process, I notice that all my pressure doesn't wind up down here. 
Now, I'm not doubting, like, because I have recently just got it, so I haven't done a ton of cutting, but from the cutting that I have done with it so far, I find my pressure is actually up here in my, like, right here. So I find, let me grab this little piece of cardboard again, that I actually pinch it right here, and I drag my cuts more, where a lot of the pressure is me squeezing right here, not letting it like pull out of my hand. And it just seems to work really good. And as long as I'm letting the teeth of the edge do the cutting, meaning I'm not just going like that, I'm actually rotating through my cut to let it like kind of spin, you know, kind of like a saw blade where the teeth are rotating into your cut like that, rather than just going like this, because you know, you're gonna get better cutting performance to rotate through your cuts, rather than just go like this. So I don't get that pressure. And then when I do a push cut, I'm up here, and I kind of secure this, this flat spot right into my palm, and it seems to just work just fine. So, then there's the, the knives that are very comfortable when you get them in hand and you grab them and you're like, man, that thing is so comfortable, man. It's so good. So good, man. But then when you get it into practice, it's not. And I'm not saying this one's one of those. I'm just saying that that, that tends to happen. Then you start using it and you're like, wow, man, I thought this thing was super comfortable. And usually, let's be honest, usually for the ones that are like, extremely comfortable. Like if you move them all around in your hand and you're like, man, I can't feel nothing. Usually that means it's gonna be pretty good in cutting. But ten, you, sometimes you might have to worry about slipping and stuff like that. At that point, you know, it just depends. Um, this is the Hinder, ha oh, sorry, QSP Pelican. <laughs> this is the, Met the Hinder half track. Now, I was already talking about this. This one, I tend to, this thing right here tends to get me in, you know, the hand, but then in practice, I wind up kind of holding it back, you know, like just sitting out a little bit. So I'm actually not even ever putting it right there. It kind of runs this way and I don't really feel it. You know, like I, I just recently got this. So this one, I can't speak about too much. I haven't done enough cutting with it, but so far, me doing that squeeze is different from the cutting. PM2, this is a prime example of this knife. People usually get it in hand and they're like, wow, that is so comfortable. Then they start cutting with it and they start finding out that they get a lot of pressure from this into their, their hand right here. They, it winds up getting them right there in use. So, you know, it's just one of those prime examples of where like, you know, I'm not saying this is a bad knife. This knife's awesome. This knife works so good for EDC. It has so many different grips that you require for EDC that work great. But just putting it in your hand and squeezing it, it's okay until you put it in use. Then you start realizing, oh man, there are actually some hot spots that I didn't acknowledge before. This one right here, this knife, the Yo Jumbo, Spider Co. Yo Jumbo. And this was the Spider Co. Pair too. The Spider Co. Yo Jumbo. Getting in hand and I just grip it right here, I have a lot of hot spots. <laughs> like it just, this pokes me right here, um, especially if I don't put my fingers directly right there and kind of separate that little gap right there in between the knuckles. This spot right here really pushes into my hand. But in practice, I notice that I don't really get that because what happens is instead of me putting pressure straight down this way, it actually tends to feel more like this. Um, that didn't make any sense probably, but where it feels like the pressure is being pulled rather than pushed. I, I, I can't I hope that makes sense. Where I'm, my pressure in my fingers are more in this, like going this direction, like this, rather than like this. You know, and that's just the way, you know, it seemed like in my, and these are all relative to my hand. And then also when I go like this and I get in my hand and I'm doing the utility cuts, I actually tend to use that little ramp. That ramp actually works good to put the pressure into my palm. So, but if I just grip it, it seems as if that would be a horrible hot spot. But then in practice, it actually benefits me. Um, now, I'm not saying that if I cut it out that it would just like ruin the knife. I'm not saying that at all. You know, it might even make it better. Um, this one, when I get it in my hand and I just grip it, this clip is horrifying. I mean, it literally just bites me right in my hand. But then in practice, 
I don't hold it like that. I tend to shift it. So instead of being like this, where it's I'm dropping stuff like this, I tend to shift it and it's actually right there. And that's the way I tend to do these cuts. And now if you look at the clip, it's not right here. It's right there. And then when I do the utility cuts, since it has this half moon shape, it lays into my hand so comfortably and actually works. So, you know, it, it, the, the shape for the blade, it actually makes sense in this case. Now, when I really want to do some slicing, I get up here like this, right into that choil, and I can lock right here and do the cuts like this rather than back here squeezing it. I'm up here and then look at the clip. The clip doesn't bother me at all now. So, and then the most comfortable grips are the way it is intended to be used. Spyderco Shaman. This thing is super duper comfortable, right? It, everybody knows, like, or everybody has said how comfortable this thing is. And it really is very comfortable in a lot of grips. Um, but, you know, same concept. The, the grips that you're doing when you're squeezing it aren't going to necessarily be the ones that when you're in practice. But in this case, it actually does feel very good. But right here, when I'm right here and I just squeeze, if I just grab it and squeeze, that actually puts pressure into here. But in practice, I don't put my hand there. I put it up here. So this winds up being in the middle right there where I don't feel any pressure. Um, and then when I actually cut with it like this, I hold it like this. So my finger goes right over the top of it. All right, guys, you guys kind of get the point of what I'm talking about. And basically all I'm trying to say is, you know, sometimes when you see some of the knife reviewers do a squeeze and they say it's not comfortable or comfortable, that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be that way for you in practice. I love you guys. Peace.